Welcome to one of the least known valleys of Switzerland. This is the mystical Val d'Era, a place that charms with its unique nature and beautiful villages. One of them is Evolen, an underrated destination that really deserves more attention. In this video I will be guiding you through this very well preserved village. Who knows, maybe this alluring town in the canton of Wallis might land on your list for your future Switzerland trips. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Geographic. I'm now in this wonderful valley called Val d'Eron. There's a lot to discover here, so I'll introduce you to the things which you can do, as well as present you one of the most beautiful villages of Switzerland called Evolen. If you like anything about traveling and culture, then you're right in this channel here, so you're most welcome to subscribe. There's a lot to discover, so let's go and explore this beautiful valley together. When intending to visit the Val d'Era, one has to pass by Sion, the capital of the canton of Wallis. From there, you either can take a bus or drive up this road leading you to this mystical valley. On your way, you will pass multiple villages and then arrive at the first point of interest. We're now at the first stop and that would be the magical pyramids of Usenje. You can see there is a tunnel so cars can pass through. I think there's no better way to be welcomed to this valley. These pyramids are the result of a process that started millennia ago. During the Ice Age periods, the glaciers transported large amounts of debris which were formed into a concrete-like mass. When the glaciers retreated, the moraines were exposed to wind and water and started to erode. However, a few spots were covered by massive rocks with weights up to 20 tons. These rocks protected the mass below while the surrounding parts continued to erode, which resulted in the formation of these pyramids. However, as the erosion continues, eventually these pyramids are also going to disappear within the next decades to centuries. And finally, you will arrive in Evolen, which is considered to be one of the most beautiful villages in the canton of Wallis. I'm now in this wonderful village called Evolen. It's really as beautiful as I've been told. You can see there are a lot of these typical traditional wooden houses which you can find all around the canton of Wallis. However, there is one more thing which is very characteristic about the Val d'Eron and what there would be you'll find out very soon. In contrast to Zermatt or South Fe that attract numerous tourists every year, Evolen charms with its quiet atmosphere. When roaming around, you can see the many beautiful traditional houses. Very characteristic for the canton of Wallis are these wooden houses of which you can still find many up here. Like most of the traditional villages in this canton, Evolen has been well preserved. What however is really unique about Evolen and the Valdera is the blend of the wooden and painted stone houses. The latter quite reminded me of the houses of the Engadin, which also have this unique characteristic of painted edges, doors and window frames. As usual, do not limit your exploration to the main streets or alleys when you visit villages of Switzerland. It's always a great idea to enter some of the side alleys, as over there you may get to see many more interesting things. It's a rule of thumb that the most beautiful and best preserved old houses are located around the main street, 
while the ones in the side alleys are more raw. I'm sure by the time of finishing exploring Evolen, you might agree that this place belongs to the most beautiful villages of Switzerland. After exploring Evolen, you should go up to Lassage. Over there you can go for a walk, approaching the cliffs, from where you can enjoy a spectacular view over the valley. After having been to Lassage, you should make your way to Arola. The road is quite adventurous and definitely adds some excitement to your trip. Up there is the Lac Bleu, my current favorite lake of Switzerland that is best to be visited during October. Arola itself really feels empty. In a way, this is what really fascinated me so much about it. I'm now up on 2000 meters in this village called Arola and just behind me we have a spectacular view on the glaciers. I really love the climate up here, it's very cool, the air is very fresh and all in all it's very peaceful. Up there the world seems to be in perfect order. The stressful everyday life or the world's problems really feel far, far away. Arola marks the southernmost and last village of the Val d'Era. Behind the southern summits you already will arrive in the Val d'Aosta in Italy. What you also get to see is the retreating Arola glacier which also has a cave similar to the Sinal glacier that can be visited in a guided tour during winter. There is of course a lot more to discover in the Val d'Era and definitely I will consider returning there to show you the many other attractions. The Val d'Era has a lot to offer on the cultural side. They have a unique carnival that I would much love to attend one day. Then there are also the native Ehringer cows that are known for being really into fighting with each other. Furthermore, the Val d'Era is one of the few remaining regions of Switzerland in which the Franco-Provençal dialect Batois is still very much alive. It used to be once the standard dialect of the French-speaking part of Switzerland. However, during the last century the French language has been taking over. I assume that the pronunciation of this valley, Val d'Era, roots in Batois itself. Reading the name in modern French would mislead one to pronounce it as Val d'Eron. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends, subscribe to Geographic. I would be really happy if you would do that. So that's it from my side. We're going to see each other very soon.